Let me tell you all you need to know about pollen patty or pollen substitute. I've been beekeeping for eight years. I've gone through eight winters and I've always used this global pollen patty. It comes in an unmarked box. As far as I know, it's a Canadian product. I've been buying it from Better Bee. I had 30 pounds left over from last year that I started with and I put it in my hives at the end of January. And then after I put that in the hives, I wanted to buy more. They told me they couldn't get it for a month. And I knew I couldn't wait a month. So I went ahead and I ordered the best that I could find pollen substitute because nobody else sells Globe and Pollen Patty. This is Ultra Beef from Man Lake. I ordered 80 pounds of this in February from Man Lake. I put it in my hives. My colonies had already been started on a global pollen patty. The majority of them discontinued doing brood after I gave them this Man Lake Ultra B. And see, I've got basically, every one of these is 10 pounds. I had 80 pounds, just four of these in the box. There was four in another box. This is how much I've got left. I used maybe 25, 30% of it. The bees don't like it. And then at the end of February, I called Better Bee again, and I ordered 40 pounds of this global pollen patty, and I've only got less than 10 pounds left. And I have been pulling it out of hives now because it all depends on your latitude. When the trees start creating pollen on them and the weather is when your bees gather pollen. Let me show you what happens. Okay, these right here are a couple smaller colonies that had a hard time during winter. I managed to keep them alive. Here it is, April. And I recommend giving all colonies pollen patty in January. Global pollen patty is the best. And I got to thinking, well, if everybody used global pollen patty, they wouldn't be enough for me. So, you know, if you watch my videos and you know this, good for you. But as far as everybody knowing it and everybody doing it, I'm glad they don't because there wouldn't be enough for me. I'm never going to use Man Lakes Ultra B again. I always want to use that Global Pollen Patty until I can come up with my own recipe for making. I think it's got brewer's yeast in it. Brewer's yeast, real pollen, and, and some other stuff. I need to find a recipe. But anyway, you want to put that pollen patty in the hive because if they have inclement weather, you don't want to dry feed them some other location. You want them to have the pollen right there. Um, March was a good, as far as weather, and the trees had the pollen and the bees went out and they gathered the pollen and this is what happens they get pollen bound and the queen runs out of cells to lay on this is a pollen bound frame you see there's eggs and larvae in there but there are no more cells for the queen to lay on and the queen will not start laying down here in these other cells she always keeps it in a cluster a brood cluster so if I don't put another frame in here with empty cells in between two other frames with brood, she will run out of places to uh, put her eggs. And the queen was right there a while ago. There's the queen. She's right there again, but she's, she doesn't have a lot of empty cells to lay on. So I'm going to have to put in some... A couple frames. This is my this is my method here. I pulled out one of my insulated fillers. It was a five frame. And now I'm gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna add two frames to turn it into a seven. I'm gonna put a a frame here with empty cells in it in between. And then it's gonna cool off into the 30s. This is this colony here is gonna be going inside because I don't want her to lose any of those larva because she lays a lot of eggs the queens will lay a lot of eggs when it's warm and then when it cools off the colony will contract their cluster and they will lose all those extra eggs because it won't be warm enough to create larva from so i'm going to be bringing them inside and you want to make sure they have lots of honey just two frames of honey one on each side is all you really need and because i fed domino cane sugar during the winter i have lots of honey I have more than what I need. Here is a 10 pound frame of honey. 
So they're not honey bound. They are pond bound. Two frames of honey and three frames here for the queen to lay on. But they have filled that one frame full of pollen from tree pollen. Tree pollen is the best pollen for your honeybees. There is nothing better. And once they get that tree pollen in the hive, they don't need to have any substitute or global pollen patty. You need to remove it. You don't want them using that. You want them using the tree pollen so they can empty those cells out. So that's the gist of pollen. <laughs> oh, they had to get me before I was done. And that's all I can tell you, okay? Thank you.